Hey kids, welcome to unit one, lesson six, Painter Plus exercise number two. And this is an important lesson, kids. This really builds on this idea of object-oriented programming and introduces a lot of concepts that you're gonna use for the rest of this class. In particular, this is going to be the extends and the super. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's go ahead, take a look at the instructions here and we'll talk through it and we'll work through it together. First thing we're gonna do is create the painter class plus. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new Java file. We've done that before and it's gonna be called painter plus Java. That doesn't sound too bad. In painter plus Java, we're gonna write a class header for painter plus class. We've done that before, so we know how to do that. Do not forget to extend the painter plus class. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm, you're probably thinking, what does that extends mean? And we've talked about this before, going back all the way to one of our first videos. And just thinking back to that first video when we talked about a home builder, we talked about when you went there to get a house that was an object that the home builder builds houses and we can have all kinds of different houses. So let's take another look at this example. Again, the same home builder can build two different types of structures. They can do residential, which people live in, or commercial, where we work. If you think about it too, they're really two different types of dwellings, but they have a lot of things in common. They both have walls, roofs, some sort of heating, some sort of air conditioning, plumbing, bathrooms, stuff like that. We can use the same blueprint for that, but adjust it because we don't need a lot of space in a residential and vice versa. We don't need a factory in our basement in our house. So we can reuse a lot of the same thing. So we're not rewriting it over and over again but have completely different, unique objects. And this goes down even further. In residential, you might live in a townhouse, an apartment, maybe a single family home. In a commercial, there's warehouses, office, and factories. These are the subclasses we talked about last lesson. So again, we can inherit these walls, these roofs, these windows, the bathrooms, so we don't have to keep writing that code over and over again but we can make our own individual house unique. And we do that through the extends. Going back to our class over here, you can see Painter Plus is gonna pull all the information of Painter. That means that Painter Plus is going to be a subclass of Painter, but it's gonna be able to do all of the things that Painter class can do. But we're gonna tweak it to do our own things, maybe like a turn right. Heading back down, write a constructor signature for the Painter Plus class. Again, we've done that, so we know how to do that. And inside the constructor, call super to call the super class constructor. So again, not only we have to extend all of the variables and other things, we also have to extend the constructor. In order to do that, we use the super. That means really when you're writing your code, you're really important two different things. You're extending the class and the constructor. And that's all that we're really going to do. It's not too difficult. How do we code that up? Well, let's do that together. First thing we need to do is create a new Java file, painterplus.java. And again, this is the same thing here. This is called my neighborhood, my neighborhood Java. Ours is just going to be called painter plus. We're going to go to new file and again, painter plus. Now under painter plus, we have a new tab here. Don't get confused. I see a lot of students write all their code in the main one. We created a whole other object really over here. So we're creating a new set of blueprints. Next part here is going to be write a class header. And the class header, if you get stuck, looks exactly like this. Except we're going to add the word extends and we want to tell what we want it to extend, but it's pretty much the same thing. We're going to write public, well, lowercase, and then class. And this time we want painter plus. 
Again, do not forget to extend the painter class. How do we do that? Well, it's real easy. We just type the word extends, spell it right though, and then the class we want to extend. Do not forget your curly braces here. We're going to need them because we're opening up a new class just like we did before. Next, we need to write the constructor signature for the painter plus class. And remember, constructor signatures just is really this public here. So we're just really going to write public painter class. That's all it is. How do we do that? We just come down here. I'm going to tab over. I'm going to write public again and then painter plus. Again, do not forget your parentheses and semicolon. So we have our class header and then we have our constructor signature. Again, constructor is really just this word public here. Inside here, we need to call the super. And how do you do that? Well, we just write super just like that. Do not forget your semicolon on that one. All this did here was instantiate a new class called Painter Plus, and it now has all of the same methods as the class above it. So pretty much just pulling in all that information from the Painter class to create our own version of it. And again, really think of it like a house. You are just creating your own version of that house. That's all we're doing. One last thing, kids, before we finish up, let's go ahead and run it and make sure it runs right. Oh, we have an error. A legal start type. Hmm. Wonder what that means. Going up here, remember how my public class here has a curly brace? I think I forgot the curly brace on that like I should. So I'm going to move this up here. And this over here. Let's go ahead and hit run again. Ooh, we got one more error, kids. I forgot about when we're coming up here, our import statement. I forgot we got to tell it what to import. We got to tell it to painter class. This is just an asterisk right here. Let's type painter in right there and run again, and it should compile now. We're still getting one error, kids. Hmm. Let's take another look at how I wrote this constructor signature. I have a semicolon there. Don't have anything up there when I wrote it. Let's take that out. When we write this, we don't put a semicolon after it. So usually when you see a curly brace, usually there's not a semicolon. It's a good lesson to learn. Let's run and we should have a good program now. There we go. Everything seems to be running well and the code is complete. So again, don't forget those couple of things there. You have to write painter because that is the class we are calling towards and no semicolons after the painter plus. Key takeaways from this lesson? Well, there's a bunch of key takeaways, kids. First is understanding the class structure, what a class is, a subclass, and then understanding the basic idea of inheritance. And again, inheritance is a basic building block of the philosophy of object-oriented programming and Java, if you remember back to that graphic I always show. And just like inheritance, if you're inheriting money or inheriting a house, you're receiving everything about it. And that's what we did today. We created our own object through inheritance. How do we do that? Well, it has a lot of the same things we've been doing. We're gonna create a new file. We have to name it the same as the class we're creating it has to have the dot java file name the thing about this this is different instead of just writing public class painter plus we want to extend all of those methods that are above us 
through the painter. So we're just gonna write extends painter. So this right here gives the painter plus the ability to access all that information. Again, that's why it's public so other objects can access it. Then we write it our own constructor signature. And again, this public down here is just creating that painter plus. Super is used to call the parents class variables and methods. And super can be used to call parents class constructors only. So this does a bunch of things. So really what you have to take away from this is if you want to get all of that information from the parent class, you have to extend it to your new class and you have to use super to get all of those different variables and methods. Again, remember your parentheses and semicolons. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful, kids. I know it was a lot, but as always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.